Alright, good morning everyone. Can I get a thumbs up po if you're able to hear me at your end? All right. Good after a uh, good morning, and thank you for that confirmation. It's another a uh, wonderful Saturday morning, and welcome, dear participants, uh, to another learning hour session, uh, brought to you by CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions or SEALS. My name is Lloyd Chin. I'm going to be your facilitator for today's session. Our, our um, session, our learning hour session is scheduled to start at 9 o'clock and uh, we're very happy to see yung mga early words po natin at saka yung mga suki na po natin sa ating learning hour session. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. We hope that today would give you another um, hour of additional information, new insights uh, that you can bring into your classroom. While we are waiting for our session to start, waiting for um, other participants to join us, please allow us to play some videos for you for your viewing pleasure. Committed to equipping Filipinos with quality educational products, CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions SEALS, relentlessly adapts to our market's ever-changing needs and the rapid developments in the education landscape to continuously provide relevant learning tools today and in the future. SEALS comprises several interconnected and relevant brands that present a comprehensive portfolio of adaptive solutions catering to different market and learning needs. The product brands of SEALS include CNE Publishing Incorporated. Producing quality textbooks to help mold tomorrow's professionals and distributing premier publications and resources through CNE Bookshop, its chain of retail stores. Kite Digital Educational Solutions, KDES, developing interactive lessons, digital publications, and web-based e-learning applications for schools and other institutions. CE Logic Incorporated, engaging in state-of-the-art library automation and interactive media systems, as well as databases, e-books, and e-journals. Makers, transforming libraries and other learning commons into spaces for creation, collaboration, and innovation. SEALS is a dynamic company that envisions itself as a leading developer and provider of globally competitive educational resources and solutions for the Philippine academic and professional markets. As we move through the 21st century, SEALS serves as a beacon of modern knowledge. SEALS remains steadfast in its commitment to guide learners as they navigate the world through adaptive learning. Throughout the years, SEALS has played its key part in reimagining the future of education through its comprehensive offering of learning and teaching tools that are smart, relevant, and complete. You want your students to learn science, to really learn science, not just pass a test. One of the best ways for them to learn is through high-impact labs. Students thrive on the fun, investigative experience that produces real results. But creating an effective lab that successfully meets all three dimensions of the next generation science standards is no easy task. It requires a lot of extra time, preparation, equipment, and expertise on the standards. So we've created Carolina Kits 3D from Carolina Biological Supply Company. Hit the switch to hands-on, minds-on learning that engages your students in every aspect of three-dimensional instruction. Each Carolina Kits 3D includes the materials you need for comprehensive, reliable, and safe learning. The three-dimensional instruction helps your students make sense of phenomena and establish a deep understanding of key concepts. Developed by a world-class team of specialists in science education and instructional design, every kit is packed with the essentials you need to run a successful lab. Quality supplies, print and digital manuals, lesson plans, videos, and assessments for classrooms of at least 30 students. Best of all, the easy-to-follow lesson plans save you time before, during, and after class, so you can spend more time doing what you love, teaching. So, let's review. How can Carolina Kits 3D help you run more successful labs? Hands-on, three-dimensional learning. 
organized, easy to follow lab preparations and procedures, supplemental digital materials, and designed to address the NGSS. Take the next step with Carolina Biological Supply Company today and explore the features of a kit that's a perfect fit for your class. For over 90 years, Carolina has provided science education materials and curriculum to schools and colleges in the United States and around the world. Science education is and has been our focus exclusively. We're dedicated to doing this one thing well. Carolina believes that students learn science best by doing science, and our products are based first and foremost on this principle. We believe in the idea that all students should have opportunities to have hands-on experiences and interactions with real-world phenomena. And we're committed to providing the best curriculum program for pre-K through eighth grade. We partner with the Smithsonian Science Education Center, the developers of Smithsonian Science for the Classroom for kindergarten through grade five, and STC for middle school. These programs provide educators with proven, effective, research-based science instruction with clear and coherent storylines and a robust support system for teachers. Carolina Curriculum is the developer of Building Blocks of Science 3D, a phenomena-based hands-on program for kindergarten through grade five. Building Blocks of Science fuels the curiosity and engagement of students in short 30-minute investigations and provides built-in teacher support to make science accessible for everyone. Many of Carolina's employees and all of our developers were once teachers. They know what works in the classroom and what doesn't. We believe that digital resources should complement, not replace classroom investigations to help students make sense of their learning and to provide real-world connections and experiences that the classroom cannot provide. We prioritize the needs of teachers and students. We've developed at-home adapted lesson plans for our K-8 curriculum programs to support you and your students when you cannot be in the classroom. We build our own kits and pride ourselves on quality and the ability to provide you with the materials you need when you need them. Most of all, we want you to be successful. From evaluation to implementation to ongoing support, the Carolina Curriculum team is here to support you in each phase of your science journey. Carolina Curriculum, we're not just any publisher or supplier. We're your trusted partner in providing the most engaging and effective science instruction. We look forward to partnering with you
Hello there. Welcome to CNE. CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions or SEALS is your reputable source of quality educational materials, products, and services. What started from a publishing thrust established in 1993 grew into a robust portfolio of integrated educational solutions suited for 21st century learning. Carrying in its name the mission to be adaptive, SEALS has positioned itself at the forefront of the Philippine educational solutions industry. It has continuously offered products, solutions, and services that inspire innovation in education. Under a new name representing its growth, CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions renewed its passion and commitment to academic and professional excellence. Explore Adaptive Learning Solutions with SEALS. CNE Publishing. Discover top notch reading materials, textbooks, references, and new titles. CE Logic. Engage in state-of-the-art library automation and interactive media systems, as well as databases, e-books, and e-journals. Kite Digital Educational Solutions Explore interactive lessons, digital publications, and web-based e-learning applications designed for schools and institutions. Makers Transform libraries and learning commons into spaces for creation, collaboration, and innovation. CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions Inspiring Innovation in Education Alright, hello once again, dear participants. Good morning to another Learning Hour series brought to you by CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions. My name is Lloyd Chin. I'm going to be your facilitator in today's session. So we're, we're seeing po, uh, additional no participants who, are, who have joined us from early, um, compared to earlier. So our session is scheduled to start at 9 o'clock. My time right now is 9.02. Um, I think we can give po other participants uh, more time to join us in this session, those who registered um, for this session. So let's give them an additional five minutes. I'm going to start po our timer there for our common reference. And please take a moment to settle in comfortably and feel free to grab a refreshing cup of water, coffee, or tea with you because in just about 4 minutes and uh, 43 seconds, we'll be officially starting our learning hour session for this morning.
Alright, nakamute po pala ako. <laughs> so, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat muli. Ayan, so dear participants, uh, educators, and learning enthusiasts, it's a wonderful Saturday morning once again, and thank you for joining us. My name is Lloyd Chin, AVP for Product Marketing and Customer Success at CNE Adaptive Learning Solutions, and I will be your session speaker for today's learning hour. Now, before we begin, some friendly reminders, Paul. So flash on your screen are our friendly reminders, and we are very um, pleased to see that everyone is mindful and observing our e-session etiquettes as outlined on the slide. Now, throughout the presentation, please feel free to note any questions uh, or clarifications you may have so that we can address them appropriately during the Q&A segment. In the event that I experience uh, this connection during this call, please remain in the session. I will promptly reconnect and join as soon as possible. Moreover, be aware that this session is being recorded um, for our collective reference. And the most important reminder is that listen, enjoy, and have fun. At this point, please allow me to introduce our company. Under a new name representing its growth, SEALS renewed its passion and commitment to academic and professional excellence. With four key brands that you are seeing on your screen, we have CNE Publishing, CE Logic, Kite Digital Educational Solutions, and Makers. Our mission is inspiring innovation in education by exploring adaptive learning solutions. And in today's Learning Hour session, our discussion will follow our topic outline. So our spotlight digital solution for this morning is Carolina Science. So this is very suitable for teachers, um, educators, and learning enthusiasts that are into science education. We have uh, learning resources that are from kinder up until grade 12. So first, uh, on our topic outline is that we're got, we are going to understand what Carolina Science is. Next is that appreciating how Carolina can assist you, dear educators, in your academic endeavors. And lastly, moving forward with the next steps. All right, I hope so. I hope that you're ready to begin on our first topic. Okay. So, Carolina Biological Company is a leading supplier of science teaching materials, resources, and equipment for educators and students. If you have seen the video earlier, they are in the industry for over 90 years right now. So, they are really um, the authority, one of the authority and credible uh, resource provider for science education. They offer a wide range of products and services, including laboratory equipments, educational kits, curriculum materials, and online resources designed to support science education from kindergarten throughout the college levels. And CNE, as, as distributor of Carolina Science in the Philippines, is able to provide several models for Carolina Science. So within the Carolina Science, we have different segments of resources. We have from kinder to grade five. These are from uh, building blocks of science 3D. We also have from grades six to eight. These are all available under the category of open sci ed. And lastly, we have naman po tools, resources, and content for biology, chemistry, and earth science. These are more for our high school. And these are available from Carolina Kids 3D. So from kinder up until yung senior high school po natin, covered po yung resources natin for our science education. Now, there are several options for our partner schools who are interested to elevate their science education. With CNE, our uh, resources include our CNE textbook. So on your screen, we have put the full series of Breaking Through Science. This is our CNE textbook. This is locally authored uh, by reputable um, authors po natin and writers for next year, uh, next school year. We have already um, prepared or have done initial point of preparations to ensure that we release for 2024 textbooks that are in are in the grade levels ng matatag curriculum po natin. So that would be soon to be released po for our school year 
2024, our CNE uh, textbook for our science. Um, you can also bundle that one or you can uh, make use of our digital resources. So on the video earlier, we've seen that our digital solutions or digital resources are meant to complement our print um, print solution. So it's a good partner for your print solutions. If you are using textbooks from different publishers, uh, that is no worries because you can still use our Carolina Science Online resources. As we all know, science is one of those subjects that has universality, meaning po yung mga lessons that in the Philippines about science concepts such as um, physics, chemistry, biology, are, are true elsewhere in the world. So, hindi naman po nagbabago yung concept ng inertia or ng velocity or ng photosynthesis um, regardless of where our students are. So, even if you're using different resources, say, for example, materials or textbooks from other publishers, or if the school is creating their own module, you can partner our Carolina Science Online with your existing resources. And lastly, we also have the Carolina Physical Kits. So uh, we've heard po some of the concerns ng mga teachers and educators that we uh, have communication with. Some of the concerns po nila with regards to science education are yung availability po ng resources for their laboratory. So as we all know, as much as possible, we want our students to be engaging with science materials or science laboratory equipments one is to one. But for some reason, such is not the case always. And we understand po yung concern and challenge na yan. That is why with Carolina, you can have po um, access to this one or you can provide this one po through our Carolina Physical Kits. So these science resources po natin can be acquired by the schools as standard alone. So pwede po each model po yung isa subscribe or yung adopt ng school or a combination of either of these um components po natin. So pwede yung textbook and yung kits po natin or textbook at saka po yung ating online resources or a package all together. And we would be happy to assist you on that one. Should you be interested, we can connect you to our business solutions officer who is handling po yung mga uh, packages po natin. All right. Okay, so that is what we are offering po from Carolina Science Online. Now, you may be wondering, um, applicable ba sa so Philippine curriculum natin, yung Carolina Kits po natin? So the good news is that yung Carolina Science Online po natin, the digital resources, we are mapping that one, aligning that one to the curriculum. So say, for example, interested po si school or si teacher to avail yung textbook po natin, these are the breaking through science, you have an option po to avail um, yung ating Carolina Science Online or yung digital resources po natin. Because within the teacher's manual, there would be references on how you can add po yung resources natin from Carolina Science Online. So we've made it easier do sa mga schools po natin. Uh, less time on preparation, less time on creation ng mga materials from lesson delivery up until assessment because these are already provided from the textbooks and yung resources ng Carolina po natin. So that's one. And then second po is that um, Carolina is using yung NGSS or the Next Generation Standards of Science. This curriculum or this framework of teaching science is used by most countries in the world. And if you make that one available po or you expose your students to that standard, yung NGSS po natin, then we are providing po our students readiness to be um more adaptive and flexible at kaya po nilang mag-succeed in later po na years ng kanilang collegiate and academic and professional po na life. So we are preparing them actually to succeed in the real world. So that is the beauty of Carolina because we're bringing into local natin na context sa classroom natin yung mga global resources, global concepts, and global trends um, more accessible for our students. Now, on this slide, we are sharing naman po sa inyo um, yung current world trends in term of yung STEM. So, science is important to everyone. I think you would agree po, dear educators and learning enthusiasts, na pagising pa lang natin, andyan na yung science on 
or even while we are sleeping, um, science is at work. Now, school science education should support the development of scientific literacy in all students as well as motivate them to pursue careers in science, technology, and engineering for the following reasons. Um, science is useful because of its link to technology and industry which, from a national perspective, are areas of high priority for development. And we're seeing that even in the Philippines, we have several organizations or um, yeah, units po ng government natin or specifically focus on science po natin. So DOSD uh, being one of them. And then for uh, mga DepEd schools po natin, we are seeing pa po um, schools that are um, science laboratory or core po nila yung science education. I'm sure yung mga private schools po natin, uh, science is also one of the core subject area na minimaintain po natin yung quality for our students. Additionally, science provides uh, ways of making sense of the world systematically. And lastly, it develops student scientific inquiry skills, values, and attitudes such as objectivity, curiosity, honesty, and habits of mind, including critical thinking. All of those what I mentioned are actually key 21st century skills na kailangan ng mga students natin so that they'll be ready for the world. Ayan. Um, also, in this one, in 2022, the Alibaba Group's Global Research Initiative, um, Demo Academy, shared some of the trends that will make life easier in a more virtual and digitized world. These trends are consistent with some of the results of the 2014 IEEE or Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Computer Society report titled IEEE CS 2022. It surveyed um, 23 technology technologies that could affect the vast world of computer science and industries by 2022. So this was what, two years ago? But um, this would be yung mga key uh, na trends that will be happening. And I'm sure you'd agree po, dear educators, that we are seeing it in real life right now. So they will analyze public papers and patent fillings and conducted interviews with nearly 100 scientists over the past three years. If you search the current trends in terms of STEM, you'll find similar search results. Emerging trends will be in AI. Ayan. So we're seeing a lot of those AI in our entertainment, in our day-to-day -day lives, even in education. We are we are also seeing AI in medicine. So yung healthcare po natin ngayon are more uh, well, more advanced because of technology and science, advances in science in medicine. Virtual reality augmentation. I'm sure nakikita niyo din po, dear uh, educators, yung um gadget na labas recently ng Apple natin which is yung Apple Google similar to this one so you can see na po you can work literally, literally everywhere through that one and lastly yung robotics and po um also from yung future of jobs ayan po no so there was one expert that was interviewed that in 15 to 25 years from now a lot, 40% of jobs natin will be um, augmented by robots and AI po natin. So right now, we are preparing for our students um, for that worldview or for that environment. And this is a good start because uh, we are preparing young students natin for the future. And if you happen to be a fan of post-apocalyptic movies and movies with zombies, katulad ko, you'd know that the geek guy or someone who knows a lot about science is oftentimes the hero or is a key component of saving the world. O, would you agree po ba doon na yung mga scientists po natin or yung mga engineers natin, mga mathematicians natin, pag nag-end of the world na, sila po yung magiging uh, key component on how to reverse yung apocalypse na yun. No? Now, more than ever, we need stronger science education program in schools and you are um, in the right pop na venue ngayon as you gain more knowledge, acquire more understanding of how you can provide better science program 
for your students. Also, um, if you look at the trends na yon, uh, that is happening in the world right now, uh, we are also acknowledging the challenges of science education in the Philippines. Now, if you look at the PISA test results, there are only 16% of Filipino students who attained at least the basic or baseline level of proficiency in mathematics and 23% of students in the Philippines reach a basic proficiency in science. Nako, marami pong kailangan gawin. Um, you know, a lot of institutions, a lot of um, departments and stakeholders in the Philippines to ensure na tumataas po yung proficiency ng mga students natin. So, hindi lang po ito task ng mga educators and teachers natin to ensuring na um, our students are going to be ready for the world. It's also responsibility of everyone who has a stake of, for our future. Now, these um, numbers that you are seeing in my screen suggest that enhancing student access to a wide range of learning resources and materials would allow them to enhance their overall learning proficiency. For educators such as yourself, the key priority is to ensure that there is an available space for students to have access to this wide range of materials and contents. And this is where we at CNE can be of support to providing schools with science education contents, resources, and materials to strengthen your science literacy among students. And that is where we'd like again to reintroduce <clears throat> Carolina Science Online. <clears throat> now, in the next two slides, I'm sharing with you how Carolina supports schools in the endeavor, in this endeavor. Um, Carolina is a teacher-friendly digital platform. It provides everything teachers need to teach the lesson in one place. So as mentioned earlier, meron na pong ready lesson, ready materials for our teachers, even yung assessment tools po natin are available na po in Carolina po natin. There are digital resources that can be deployed to the students, which makes planning, teaching, and monitoring student progress easy and additionally provide the perfect blend of technology with hands-on learning. Third on this um, feature of Carolina po natin is that Carolina follows a coherent learning progression using units that follow the NGSS grade level learning progressions. Within the program, it uses phenomena-based instruction, which begins with an anchoring phenomenon and phenomena video with each lesson focusing on an investigative phenomenon. So yung mga lessons po natin sa Carolina would start at introducing yung mga students natin on a phenomenon or phenomena that are actually happening around them. So if yung mga students natin or yung school natin um, merong limitation on introducing those phenomenon, don't worry because there are available videos that would allow you, dear teachers, to introduce them to those phenomena which would uh, which is yung anchoring naman po na concept for you to explore with them yung lesson yung on the science na um, naka-schedule for discussion for that day. Now, I'm showing to you, dear teachers, um, the dashboard for lessons natin for grades 1 to grade 5. So, yung na-capture po dito is a, dash, a screenshot of kindergarten up until grade 2. So, if you scroll down, down lower po, makikita po natin yung mga lessons for grades 3, 4, and 5. So, for each grade level po natin, may specific po doon na topic and later on, makikita po nyo during our live navigation yung mga extended po na topics that are available for each of the grade level. This time, I'm showing you naman po the teacher dashboards for lessons for grades 6 to 8. So, these are um, lessons 6, 7, and 8. And this one naman po is yung for our uh, senior high school or junior high school. And this one is showing naman po a per concept or per subject po na discussion. So we have po from for bio, chemistry, and earth, earth and space science. All right. So I'm showing this time yung um, lesson, what lessons in Carolina would look like. So over here, you are seeing po yung mga teacher resources that are downloadable. So you can review this one offline. You can monitor also yung assessments ng mga students natin because these are available uh, here dito sa area na to where you find po yung mga teacher resources po natin. 
Uh, on top po, nakikita po natin that yung Carolina Science lessons po natin uh, are arranged according dun sa five E's of science inquiry. So, that is on top pa po dun sa NGSS na standards po natin. And the five E and science of inquiry is one of the models po on how to best teach science education po natin. Over here would be some of the resources po natin. Uh, that are available in digital format. So you have here the teacher's guide, student investigation sheets, readily available for the lesson plan, which you can customize, demonstration videos, and a lot more. So yun po yung uh, available for our teachers ito sa ating digital content or digital resources po natin. As a whole, when using Carolina, this is what the learning journey would look like. So first off, Ngayon po, si teacher po magsaselect po siya ng resource to use or deploy. So, pwede po i-download niya yung mga videos or yung activities para yun po yung gamitin niya during classroom discussion. Or the teacher can deploy this one kay student and student can access it on their accounts. Alright, so teachers can use that one for in-person activity or can deploy that one for student based learning. Uh, I think there are some reports po or studies that would tell us that at, at one point, at some point, meron, din pong, meron pong magandang benefit yung student-based learning because we are allowing our students to learn at their own convenience and learn at their own pace. And for teachers, you don't need to worry because there are available resources already that you can organize and manage um, to provide for your students. Next on the step or on the journey is that students can download or interact with the resources provided or deployed by the teachers. And lastly, our teachers can check progress and development in your gradebook. So all of these are available on our online platform. In a snapshot, this is what Carolina can offer for our educators. So uh, for the content, you have here the interactive videos science investigation and virtual manipulatives that are available for grades 1 to 10, which are patterned um, with NGSS and the 5 E's instructional model. So the 5 E's instructional model, as what you've seen in so earlier not in a screenshot, would be engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. And this model is a planning tool for inquiry-based teaching that provides a structure for students to connect sciences, ideas, uh, with their experience and apply their learning to new context. So, yun po yung beauty uh, nitong Carolina natin because the lessons are structured in a way that would allow po yung mga students natin to experience yung scientific phenomena on their own and build new um, neural pathways for them to appreciate that one and use po yung napag-aralan nila na yun uh, to their learning context, right? So inside our Carolina Science, teachers can deploy available lessons. Uh, they can assign assignments to the student. And how does it how it works? Uh, you've seen po this on previous slide po natin. Um, teachers and students po, um, you have your own login credentials. And teachers gradebook allows um, to track students' progress and activity. So for our next part po, we're going to highlight yung digital solution or yung digital platform natin ng Carolina Science po natin. So yung kits po natin, these are available for viewing. Um, should that be of interest for you? And then yung textbook naman po natin from CNE Publishing, yung ating Breaking Through Science, um, you can request for an evaluation copy from our business solutions officer or by filling out po yung form natin later on. Okay, so yung highlight po natin, for the next part natin is yung Carolina Science Online, which is the digital platform of Carolina Science. Now, at this juncture, we are moving to the next part of our session, the live navigation. We're going to walk you through the Carolina Science platform. Um, and to do this, po, I will pause my screen momentarily to open my browser. But let me check po dun sa mga participants natin. Do you have any questions or clarifications po uh, about Carolina Science natin na resources?
All right, feel free po to put po yung questions niyo on the chat box. Ayan po. Or you can unmute your microphone or raise po yung zoom hands po niyo. Would there be any component po, particular component on science resources from CNE uh, as shown earlier that you are more keen to look at or you're interested? May specific po ba kayo doon na nakita na mukhang ito I'm interested to know more about? You can share that one po sa ating chat box. All right, so it looks like um at this point, malapong question yung mga participants po natin. So can I get a thumbs up po if we're okay to move doon sa next part po natin? All right, so thank you po for that confirmation. I'm going to share my screen again. And this time, I'm fetching po yung ating uh, platform. All right. So, I'm showing po yung dashboard ng Carolina Science Online. Can you give me a heart react po if you're seeing that one on your screen? Okay. So, thank you po for that confirmation. All right. So, this is the teacher's dashboard po ng Carolina Science Online po natin. And um, here, let's do a quick tour ng ating dashboard. So, over here po, nakikita niyo sa taas, these are the different science tabs po natin. For each of the tab, it provides po lesson overview per grade level po natin. So, I'm just gonna zoom that out para makita niyo po more. And so, we are here on building blocks of um, Science 3D po natin. These naman po are our lessons uh, from kinder up until grade 5. Alright? So there you go. Ito po yung mga resources pa natin uh, in Building Blocks of Science or yung BBS pa natin from Carolina. If I click on here po, ito naman po yung Building Blocks pa natin um, of Science. These are yung... Uh, for high school po natin. Some of the additional po or more digital po na resources po natin for the high school. If you click on Open Sci-Ed, ito pong sa taas dito, these are yung resources po natin for grade 6, 7, and grade 8 po natin. So these are divided po into different concepts po. Right, there you go. And lastly naman po yung uh, for high school natin, we have po for biology, Chemistry and Earth Science. So you may be wondering, mukhang di naman ganyan yung itsura ng Philippine curriculum po natin. So that is true um, na yung pagkakaayos po ng resources natin in Carolina Science Online does not perfectly match or align doon sa yung learning concepts or learning components po natin doon sa dapat curriculum natin. But the, and the beauty of this one is that for Carolina Science, as teachers, you have access to all of these resources at a time. So if the school nung subscribe siya for Carolina um, Building Blocks, uh, lahat po ng teacher handling science will have access to all of the lessons uh, available here. So meaning po si teacher, you can actually mix and match. No? You can get yung mga resources across dito sa mga different resources natin and use that one in alignment doon sa ituturo yung lesson for that particular day or particular po na discussion. So if ang plan po ni school is to subscribe to Carolina Science Online as an additional po na resource for existing na books na ginagamit nyo from other publisher or yung sarili po yung module, that is how best to use po yung Carolina Science Online po natin. However, if you are um, looking into subscribing po or adopting yung textbook from CNA Publishing na map na po in the teacher's manual sa ang part ng Carolina Science Online po natin um, natin gagamitin or makukuha yung mga resources. So, um, in any model po na um, edo-decide ng school natin whether using Carolina Science with CNA textbook or using it with your other resources po win-win pa rin si teacher because you have access to all of these resources 
at a given time. So, for example, si school nang subscribe siya for uh, resources for elementary at saka for high school po natin, teachers natin will have access to those resources. Ayan po. Alright, so let's look into the different resources po natin here. Let's have a quick view. So, here yung mga tabs po natin. If you notice, meron po tayong ibang tabs dito. These are additional po na mga um, resources ni ni Carolina that are available for add-on subscription or add-on purchase. Um, this one, I've clicked po yung ating Carolina products. Uh, this one comes with yung workbook, lesson plan, at saka yung kits po natin. Yung physical kits po natin. And then we also have po here resources from Smithsonian Science po natin. And so, si Smithsonian Science po natin is one of the leaders and reputable po na uh, providers ng science resources uh, for education po natin. So, we have all of those resources po. Si school can do mix and match. No? Gusto ko building blocks at saka Smithsonian lang or building blocks and open science lang. That is possible po. So, over here on the top would um, are where teachers would get po yung kanilang resources. And on the left-hand side po ng screen po natin, this is where we see po yung other functions po. So, here on the assignments tab, this is where you manage and assign po yung mga activities that you assign for your students. So, if you notice in my account, I have different assignment names here at nakadeploy po siya sa mga students ko. If the assignment or activity that I have deployed has... um. Uh, tests with it, no? si system na po yung automatically nag-check po nun. So, you're noticing po here uh, in this column, some of the assignments have scores already. So, si system na po yung gumagawa nun for us. And another here na tab is where you can see naman yung mga students ninyo rostered. So, pwede po kayong mag-group ng students ninyo per class, per grade level, or specific groupings that you do want. Okay? So, those are functionalities po natin inside Carolina. So, very straightforward, very easy to use po si Carolina natin on that aspect. Now, let us look into the resources that are available for our teachers. Um, let's try po here yung, I think we have, yung favorite ko is Matter. Uh, there, no? For, uh, so, we have po Matter over here. So, yung, when I click po this one, all of the um, kind ng resources, yung format at saka yung pagkaka-arrange ng mga resources natin here would be true to all of the other po na topics natin and lessons natin in this particular po na tab. So, let's try to open that one, yung matter. So, this is a lesson or unit about matter. There you go. And as you are seeing, yung lessons po natin are arranged vis-a-vis um, -vis the five E's of um, scientific of instruction po natin. So, we have lessons uh, for engaging our students. We have lessons naman po um, that would allow our students to explore, explain, and elaborate. And we have lessons here or resources that would allow us uh, to assess yung students natin and for them to evaluate their learning. So, it follows po yung five E's po natin nung um, inquiry and instruction po natin. Uh, so, here, the one that you're seeing below, these are the resources for the unit overview. So, unit overview pa lang po yung nakikita nating resources here. And uh, below, I'm just gonna zoom that in so you have a better appreciation here. Uh, for teachers, you have already yung specific resources available for you to introduce yung topic na to. So, you have your... Re here, readily available po na PowerPoint. So, you can download that one. And you can edit that one, add or tanggal ng mga slides uh, that are not applicable doon sa ituturo mo. So, ready na po yun para sa mga teachers po natin. You also have here a guide or instruction on the resources on na gagamitin nyo to teach this particular lesson at saka ano yung assessment na kakailanganin ninyo tools and resources for you to evaluate your students' learning. So that is available here on the introduction part. If you click on the tab for NGSS standards, you're seeing here um, saan po doon sa NGSS standards um, nag-a-align yung lesson dito. So parang katulad po siya ng learning um, outcomes and learning curriculums po natin sa DepEd. 
as mentioned earlier, hindi pa tayo, uh, currently yung digital resources natin is are not aligned yet sa DepEd curriculum pa natin. But here, if you're going to use si Carolina po natin, uh, complementary to your existing resources, we have a guide here naman po, yung specific outcome or specific po na component vis-a-vis -vis the learning um, curriculum ng DepEd that you can match or add in to your lesson plan. So, very easy and very straightforward po to you. So, under NGSS standards, you're seeing po where each of the lesson meets yung performance expectation. You also here um, see po disciplinary core guides. Ayan. Science and engineering practice. Ayan. So, if you're teaching this particular lesson, you're using po yung mga materials here, you're able to see Anong science and engineering practices po yung hinihit niya or na-accomplish po niya. So on this one, for teachers po natin, you'll have an idea po um, on those specific topics. And lastly is yung cross-cutting concept. So we're teaching matter dito po sa particular na to. But we're also seeing that while we're using yung resources for um, lessons po natin here. For a while lang po. Let me just... Meet that one. Ayan. While we are uh, teaching po yung lesson about matter, we're also touching base dun sa iba't ibang concepts such as patterns, cause and effect, energy, and matter. So, yun po yung beauty ng Carolina Science. Additionally po, uh, bonus na sa mga teachers natin, within the resources of Carolina, you also have literacy components dun. So, while you're teaching science, you are also strengthening yung reading and literacy ng mga students natin because there are resources here that supports both science na growth and reading and literacy growth ng mga students po natin. So we'll be seeing that one later dun sa mga resources po natin. Right. So there you go. Ito yung mga materials that would allow yung teachers natin to cross-reference and align po according sa NGSS standards or you can do that one alignment vis-a-vis -vis our DepEd curriculum. Now, next on our tab here is yung unit resources po natin. So, these are all of the teacher resources that are available for you to teach effectively etong matter na lesson natin. So, we're only here, but you are seeing a lot of these resources already. Uh, these are um, in print form. Ayan po. A lot of these are worksheets. Ayan po. Um, some of them are... Ito, as I've mentioned earlier, literacy articles. Let's click on that one to give you a preview. Ayan, you're seeing po yung literacy article. So um, again, we are on the topic ng matter. And for this activity, yung, yung uh, sample is making ice pops. Ayan po, no? So yung changes ng form or state ng matter from solid to liquid and vice versa. Ayan. So, meron pong fun activity on how students can observe yung changes ng forms ng matter. And they're having fun pa kasi they're gonna make ice pops. And this one also supports yung literacy ng mga students po natin. So, kumbaga, 3-in-1 na po siya. So, you have here, ito yung students um, worksheet natin. And as teachers, ayan po, you have a teacher version. Uh, meron na pong automatic guide um, on the questions uh, that you can ask from to your students to bring out yung understanding and knowledge po sa kanila. So you have po yung mga sample questions na po dyan for you. And then this one is another activity, uh, making salad dressing. Naku, nagugutom naman ako sa mga nakita nating articles here. So this is on salad dressing. And again, you have a teacher version here. Um, as a guide for you, how to assist yung students ninyo arrive at the conclusions doon sa kanilang activity or experiment na ginagawa. Okay, so, that is one of the many resources that you'll find here. Yan po, meron pa po tayong teacher sheets and summative assessment. Summative assessment can come in different form. Pwede po siyang uh, test paper type tulad po nito. So, this is a summative assessment material already for you. And for each of the assessment po natin, meron po siyang, let me just scroll down here, answer key. No? So si teacher, hindi na po siya mahirapan uh, to prepare yung materials na yun because meron na kayong test paper sa taas at meron na kayong answer key dito sa baba. Right? So there you go. 
Ayan. And even for, um, for example, itong item number four, um, the test paper is asking the students to draw something. Ayan. So, meron din pong guide for teachers on how to uh, correct that one or grade po yung particular submission ng student na yun. Okay. So, truly, Carolina Science is providing yung mga teachers natin that um, assistance in test preparation, lesson preparation because all are created na po for you. So these are pa lang po teacher resources po natin that are in print format. You additionally have resources for uh, that are in digital format po natin. So one of those that I'd like to highlight is that meron tayong video dito uh, that you can uh, play before you start po yung inyong activity. So yung na-mention po natin kanina, yung lesson plan ng Carolina is always going to start with an anchoring phenomenon. Ano ba yung nangyayari uh, around us that would relate po kay student yung topic na din discuss. So for this one, this is on matter. So you have already video there. Let me just click on that one. Look around you. Everything you see comes from a design. Your school, your dinner table, your parents' car. Even your phone was built using certain materials and design plans. For right. engineers and designers at places like Google, Facebook. All right, I'm going to pause on that one. So this is just a 2 minute 48 second the video that would allow the teachers to introduce yung phenomenon. So, if you're not able to allow yung students yung to go out and check no, or discover yung, or in, yung matter for them, uh, anchoring lesson na to or anchoring phenomenon na to, then you have a ready video available for you that is available dito sa digital resources po natin. Some of the media type natin available here or format ng lessons or resources available here are found here. So you have po yung um, videos that we've seen earlier. You also have po readily available PowerPoint there. You have po excerpts from the ebook that you can make use of which are also from Carolina po natin. And you have interactive resources to add on to that. Yeah. So ito po yung iba't ibang resources that are available in digital format. Um, which si teacher pwede niyo po itong deploy kay students. So say for example, you do want for them to have an initial understanding of yung lesson niyo before they come into the classroom. What you can do is actually um, deploy or allow them to watch the video beforehand. And so they become ready going into the school. If meron naman po kayong gustong ipa-assignment for them, say for example, when they... Um, return sa bahay nila, you'd like for them to do a quick investigation that are inside their house, pwede nyo po silang bigyan itong student investigation sheets po natin. So, a lot of different resources available po kay teacher po natin. Right. So, we are only viewing yung unit overview here. All of that um, I've shared with you are um, resources from the unit overview pa lang po ng matter. If we if we're going to go na po dun sa lessons into engaging them, this one small parts make big things. If we click on that one, you have a new set of resources or uh, available naman po para sa inyo. So if you notice, this is a lesson overview earlier when we click on unit po, that is um a unit overview po natin. So we've click on lesson one po natin. You're seeing po yung lesson overview. And for that particular lesson, dear teachers, you have here additional set of resources. Um, starting off with, ano yung lesson overview, objectives yun doon. For teachers, you have a teacher preparation video. This would allow you po to recap or refresh yourself doon sa uh, topic na yun. And again, you have po different set of PowerPoint that you can make use of for your lesson. You also have here yung understanding ng phenomenon na i-anchor ninyo. All of those preparation that you need to do. Ayan po, yung guide po ninyo how to teach or instruct your student into that phenomenon. Nandito na po siya. Ayan. And yung teacher background po. So, ano yung mga, uh, for example, if you're, because this is for grade 2, 
uh, yung reading teachers po ng students in your, in your science class would appreciate you or would um, be your partner kasi while you're discussing yung lesson on science, they're also able to earn yung mga words na ito that are essential naman po sa kanilang reading skills. Ayan. So you have that one also. Uh, this is where yung literacy add-ons ni, ni Carolina Science is seen into play. You also have here background information para kay teacher. And if you wanted po to partner more uh, with your literacy na teacher, ayan, ito po yung how this particular lesson is able to support yung literacy skills naman ng mga students po natin. You actually don't need to do anything more um, to support yung literacy ng mga students natin for this particular lesson because um, if you use po yung mga resources that are provided, you automatically is able to support yung literacy ng mga students po natin. Ayan. So those are the many resources available po from the lesson overview pa lang na tab. So again, each of the tab here that I'm clicking, we're clicking on the next generation science standards, uh, is going to provide the teachers um, more extended na resources po natin. So if you click on investigation overview, ito po yung um, available sa atin. So you have a guide uh, on the overview of the investigation, yung activity na ibibigay mo, uh, how many minutes po yon mag-take for the students to accomplish. And for you to conduct yung activity na yon or yung lesson na yon, you have here additional po na resources. Even yung investigation sheet for that one is available na po para kay teachers pa natin. And a different set of digital resources. So we are on the lesson pa lang po na resources for small parts and make big things. Over here sa baba, makikita nyo we have two investigation there. Um, for this particular lesson. And if you click on that one, same as with the other natin, you have uh, specific tabs of resources for that specific na investigation. So truly, dear teachers, um, prepared na lahat for you by Carolina. Sabi nga dun sa video, uh, the reason for this one is for you to be able to do what you do best, which is teaching and guiding your mga students po natin. So all of that, all of those different resources po natin are available across the lessons that you're seeing here and across the different investigations that you are seeing here. So if you click on lesson 3, different set of lesson materials all together yung makikita po natin dito. Right. Um, and it is very easy po to deploy yung mga resources natin for our students. Say for example, I'm going to click po dito sa ating digital resources. Ayan po, no? If this is a resource that you'd like po to um, deploy to your students, just um, click po yung box na yun to check it. So you're seeing po the resources um, being added here. And then if you are ready na po to deploy that one, nakapili na po kayo ng mga resources you'd like your students to access, just click on create assignment. There you go. Um, you can additionally do a further review, add or e remove um, yung mga resources na yan. If you're satisfied with your selection, just click next. And then you can name that assignment. So say, for example, week two, learning activities. You can put po yung instruction natin. Um, please read and watch the videos and articles. And you can additionally put here, when um, is this going to be available for them? See, for example, you want it available next week. Pwede po natin gawin yun. Or today, let's do that today. And then available siya hanggang next week. Yeah. If this is an assessment that you have chosen po, for example, kailangan nilang sagutin, yung end date po natin is going to be very helpful po for you. There you go. So, nakapili na tayo ng resources. We're, we're, right now, we're adding yung mga instructions natin. And this time, you can choose na po sinong student yung pag a po ninyo. So, you can choose po per class or per group po natin. I'm choosing po itong group na to and assign it to this student. Pwede po the whole class or the whole group yung i-assign or a particular student po natin. And there you go. 
you're seeing po there that you have successfully assigned yung um, activity na yon. If you go back to our dashboard, you should be able to see that here. Ito po yung inassign po natin, week 2 learning activities. So very easy, very straightforward po yung mga um, tools natin inside Carolina Science Online. So this is for grades um kinder up until grade 5 po natin. For other subject areas, uh, sa grade levels po natin, similar po yung um, format at saka po yung resources that are available for you. This time, I've chosen naman po um, for grade 6 po natin. Ayan. So here po, we are seeing the same. You have yung overview po natin available for the teachers. Uh, teacher background knowledge. So this would be sort of a review para sa mga teachers natin. Ano yung assessment natin, materials that we are going to use? How are we going to assess yung students natin to test for understanding? Nandiyan din po siya. Materials that you'll be needing um, to conduct your investigation? Nandiyan din po siya. Ayan. This one is particularly naka-align dun sa kit. But if you are not um, subscribed to the kit, that's all right. Because if you notice yung description here ng mga materials, these are readily available from our local stores. Yan po, no? So, yun po yung beauty naman ni Carolina po natin. And you also have still yung unit resources natin. Um, this time, you're seeing yung digital resources. So, very true across ng mga iba't ibang categories ng products po natin. So, if science teacher po kayo, I'm sure you'll be over the moon because you're seeing a lot of readily available resources that you can make use of. Okay. So very quickly, I'm just going to jump lang po in a student account to see uh, how it is naman po for our students. For our students po, if wala pong deploy si teacher na activity, they're not going to be using po yung platform. No? So here, uh, if you notice, we have two assignments for our students. Ito yung in-assign natin uh, kani-kanina lang. Ayan, so they're able to see that one automatically. So for them to engage on that one, they just need lang po to click that one and start po yung interaction uh, nung mga ito, uh, nung students sa mga materials po na ito. And then when they're finished, they automatically see yung students nila. So wala pa po graded dito at wala pa po submitted. Ah, ito may submitted na pala. Hindi pa nag-grade ni teacher. Ayan. So from the student account, very straightforward lang din po yung paggamit nitong access natin sa Carolina. So, I'm gonna pause there, dear teachers. Checking po sa inyo. Um, meron po bang particular item dito sa ating Carolina Science Online that you were interested or mukhang, mukhang pwede kong gamitin yan sa class? Ayan. Can you share us your thoughts in the chat box po? Alright, mukhang, mukhang shy yung mga teachers natin. Alright, so don't worry po dear teachers. Um, If you have any question or kung meron kayong further clarification or inquiry after this session, you know how to reach and where to reach us or also going to share that one later on. Okay, so it looks like um, wala pong inquiry or question yung mga teachers po natin. So I'm gonna stop po yung screen share ko this time. And I'm gonna go back po dun sa aking PowerPoint um, to queue in yung next part ng ating session. Okay, so let me just go back lang here very quickly. Okay, so we are done with our live navigation and we hope po that live navigation had gotten you excited uh, to teach more about science. All right. Ah, okay, so you have a question here from Teacher Oliver. Um, so Carolina Science Online, yes, well, it's actually an app. It's a website where you can access po yung mga resources po na yun. So Carolina Science Online is one of the components lang po ng science education program na meron po si CNE. So you have put the online resources po natin. You also have the kits and you also have yung textbooks naman po from us. But 
to answer po, yes sir, um, it is a website po. Right, so I hope nasagot ko po yung question ni sir. Yeah, so if meron pong other question pa yung mga participants natin, feel free to put that on the chat box po natin. All right, so let me just um check yung other slides po natin here. And so we're done with the Q&A question apart. <laughs> we're done with the Q&A po na part. Yeah. So can you type po number one in the chat box po if we are okay to proceed in the next session po natin? Next part of the session po. Ayan. Ayan, meron pong question from teacher Maria Nelia. Okay. Um, if may record ba sa performance per learner na na-download uh, teacher para ma-monitor? Yes po, you have a grade book. Okay, let me just go back lang po doon to share with you. And um, where you'll be able to see that one. All right. So I'm back on my dashboard ng teacher po natin. Here on the assignments po. Yan. You'll be able to see po yung um, record ng activity po nila. So let's click on that one. So for this particular po na uh, lesson, uh, activity na in-assign ko, ito po yung makikita po ninyo. Uh, doon sa in-assign po na activity. So, you'll see po yung progress nila, cumulative score, if that particular na activity, eh, meron pong kailangan sagutin yung mga students po natin. Um, even yung time spent mo nila per the resource, pwede nyo pong makita yun. Ayan, questions visited, pwede nyo rin pong makita yun. Yung grade po to a particular assessment, pwede nyo rin pong makita yun. So, you have all of those available po in the teacher's grade book. Alright, so thank you po for those questions. Ayan. I'm just gonna go back here sa aking um, PowerPoint and I'm seeing po several number ones sa ating chat box, meaning we are okay to proceed doon sa next part po natin. Alright. Okay. So what's next doon sa mga teachers po natin? Oh, we've reached this point. Uh, of ask of um pondering on what's next um after po this session natin. So what lies ahead for your school, institution, or classroom activities? Undoubtedly, there are many, many, many new things to explore, fresh insights to gain, and new information to incorporate. Given the dynamic nature of our world and the changes happening around us, adaptation is key to staying ahead and being prepared. And you are in the right track po, dear teachers, because sabi nga po nila sa CNE, learning never stops. And you joining us in this learning hour session is a testament to that one. Kudos to sa mga teachers po natin to, uh, who are always seeking for opportunities and venues and avenues to improve po yung knowledge po ninyo and improve po yung understanding ninyo that you can bring into your classroom. Ako, I'm sure um, itong week na to and the coming days would be extra special because uh, we're looking forward into several days wherein we can pause, relax, um, do po yung ating mga uh, pagninilay-nilay uh, with the Holy Week. I hope po that would provide for you spiritual po na well-being, spiritual na health, mental na health, wellness, at saka yung uh, physical also na wellness. All of those combined uh, during dun sa next few days po natin. Alright, so from CNE, from SEALS, we hope that we have provided you with yet another piece of key to future-proofing po your learners. Okay. So on your screens, dear teachers, is a QR code that would take you to our feedback and evaluation form. This form will provide us insights on how we can improve our future events and activities with you. This would also serve as your attendance for the session, which would um, prompt us to generate po the e-certificates for you. Additionally, if you wish to request for a free trial account or more in the presentation of Carolina, you can signify it on the form. So we can go into your schools po or 
jump into a Zoom session with you if you want to know more about Carolina. We can do a product uh, demo for you or in-depth product demo for you or you can request for a free tile for. So the link to the form is also available at the chat box. I will give you a moment to accomplish for the form. So my time is 10.08 right now. Let's give everyone for three minutes to accomplish for that form. Okay, so um, 10, 10 po yung time ko right now. Okay, so if you're done po accomplishing the form, you can type number 2 on the chat box po so that we'll know um, yung status po ng completion. All right, we're seeing po several number two on the chat. And so if finish na po kayo accomplishing the form, please type in number two on the chat box. All right, let's give um yung fellow po natin na participants another minute to accomplish the form. All right, so I, I hope by now you're finishing po yung form for those na um, not yet nakatype ng number two. So while you are finishing po the last items on the form, I'm going to flash on the screen po natin. You can take a screenshot or photo of this one, yung atin pong digital loot bag. So please anticipate the arrival also of your e-certificate within two to five working days at your registered email address. Moreover, by scanning po yung QR code natin on your screen or clicking the link in the chat box, you can access the digital loot bag is created for you. This will serve as a keepsake encapsulating the highlighted information from today's activity. There you go. So you can click the link on the chat or copy for that link or take a screenshot of our digital loot bag for you. <clears throat> And join us, dear teachers, educators, for our next learning hour. 
uh, elevate learning for your higher education classroom. So if you have co-colleagues and co-teachers uh, that are teaching in the higher education, senior high school and college po, um, invite them into this session po natin. Explore the right solutions to learning success in our new SEALS Learning Hour session happening next next week <laughs> featuring Nearpod. Nearpod is an online platform with interactive lessons, videos, games, and activities for teachers and students. So mark your calendars for April 6th, uh, next next Saturday at the same time, 9 a.m. Now, this session is open to higher education teachers, instructors, admins, and professors. But um, if you are teaching for in the basic education, feel free also to come um, because Nearpod can also be used for the basic education. Although yung magiging uh, examples po natin for April 6 would be more on higher ed po na contents and resources. But then again, meron din po tayong resources in Nearpod that are for basic education. All functionalities naman po are the same. Now, slots are limited. Be among the first 250 registrants and get a SEALS Learning Hour Certificate. So register now via the um, link provided in the chat box or scan the QR code. Ayan. So I'm giving you um, five seconds to take a screenshot of that one. All right. Now, and then at this point, we extend for our heartfelt gratitude to all the participants and educators and learning enthusiasts uh, joining us, uh, who joined us in this enriching session. We hope that you've gained valuable insights uh, to enhance your students' learning experiences. Stay tuned for more similar events and activities from SEALS and visit our SEALS Partners Journey Portal, www.sealspartners.com. And our Zoom call will be ending in two minutes. Wishing you, dear teachers, a wonderful day ahead of you and a happy celebration of the Holy Week.